Yes, um, I mean my, my eyes were going trying to stay awake to watch. Um, yeah, I was, I was tired. Yeah, so. to watch the penalties, but yeah, I just felt that watching Arsenal, I had, I had both screens on in um, the hotel, watching both games at the same time. I felt like Arsenal didn't really look like they believed they could win that game last night. They didn't lay a finger on yeah. Bayern Munich. I watched the City game. Yeah, the atmosphere, Al. We, we need to work on our atmosphere um, in England because that atmosphere at Munich, definitely, yeah. um, you, you could feel it watching the game and seeing it. That definitely affected the Arsenal players. I'm not going to say they crumbled, but they didn't play like they did in the first leg. Tell me this. I said a few weeks ago, I'm just seeing fatiguing players. Mm. And they will come on to De Bruyne and we'll come on to Haaland later. Yes. You watch it in the Arsenal game, did they look a little bit, not 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 cream cracker, but, you know, the sharpness has gone a 100%, little. 100%. I mean, the, the player that stood out to me was two players were Declan Rice and Saka. Musiala, the young lad, um, German young lad, he ran rings around Declan Rice. Did he he ran really? rings around him. Like Every time he got the ball, quick turn acceleration, Declan Rice couldn't get anywhere near him. Mm. Jorginho as well in the middle. Saka, it's the worst game I've seen him play. I mean, I'm a big fan of Saka, but he didn't beat his um, fullback once. Yeah. And it wasn't the first choice fullback, Alfonso Davis. Yeah. So he was playing against them, um, second choice left back. Didn't get past him once. His decision making was wrong. And then people are going to say, he's playing injured. But no, if you're injured, you don't play yeah. in a big game like that. So I agree, players look very tired. But. That's why you have squads of 22, 23 players. Well, I, I watched the whole of the City game and then when it came to penalties, I went to bed. I knew yeah. it was coming. I went, ah, nah. City had so many chances, so much possession, but I still think they overplay. If I want to be critical, they overplay. And what I don't understand is, Gab, and you'd know this playing up front, mm. when they do get half a chance and fizz one across the box, there's never anyone on the end. Yeah. There? I think what, what I've noticed as well about Haaland is he always wants to be at the back post. He has to start mixing it up a bit and saying, you know what, I'm not, not going to lean on the back post. Let me attack the front post. Because Grealish was getting a lot of crosses in. Doku as well when he'd come on. But, you know, the the last 15 minutes of extra time, Al, it was like they were all, it was walking football. Yeah. They looked shattered, both teams. He, De Bruyne had a great chance, put it over the bar. That was a great chance. Yeah, and you could tell by Pep's reaction after that chance that he was yeah. like, hmm, is that one we're going yeah. um, we, to feel? But I just think... What a shame. You know, after after the game, you're like, what? Well, we're going we're, we're to talk about De Bruyne and Haaland in just mm. a moment because not everyone would have watched that game. It was a yeah. tough night for the two English sides in the Champions League. Haaland, I don't know what's up with him. Mm. He's, he's just... I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe he's such a quiet guy. Maybe his confidence has gone. I don't know, but there's something not 100% right with him. <laughs> Uh, from an Arsenal point of view, Arsenal boss Arteta says it could be years now before they lift the first Champions League title after crashing out to Bayern. Uh, Kimmich's second half header went, uh, sent the six-time European Cup winners through to semis 3-2 in aggregate. The Gunners now have the Premier League to compete for, meaning they could end another season without anything. Although, people yesterday were saying, Gab, right, mm. that uh, this is last chance to learn for Arsenal get rid of Arteta. Arsenal can still win the Premier League, make no mistake. Um, you know, it's advantage City, but City, you know, there's definitely, there's cracks in Liverpool and City and Arsenal. I think this is, it's fascinating who's going to triumph come the end of the season. I think it's open for all three, I really do. 100% and last night would have took so much out of them City players. They look yeah. shattered. I mean, we, we're going to talk about it Pep Guardiola come out after the game and says Haaland and De Bruyne asked to be taken off. Well, I'm astonished by asked that. Asked to be taken off. So, for me... From, fa from fatigue or niggles? I think niggles or fatigue maybe, but I don't want to see them on Saturday then in the FA Cup. Because if you're asking to be taken off in the biggest game of the season when your team needs you, especially Haaland, who for me was poor, and Kevin De Bruyne, 111 oh, minutes. He did, he did a glorious yeah, opportunity but 100, over the bar. 111 minutes. Yeah. Surely you just see... See it through because you're you're one of the better penalty takers. Well, uh, when they went off, I thought yeah. this this could go to penalties. Why, I'm, 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 why did Rodri not take a penalty? I don't know. Why did Kovacic yeah. take one? Like it was a, it was a bit strange for me that like Pep didn't really look at the bigger picture of like you know what we need decent penalty yeah. takers on there. He'll pick them up. They're still going for the double. You know the yeah. semi final. The the favourites to win the Premier. 
But Liverpool will be thinking now they've got a game tonight, isn't it? Yeah, and, um, that's, that's and Arsenal, Arteta's got to pick Arsenal up and say, look, we have to beat Wolves. We have to. We can't go through. Game, mate. It's a tough game, but Arsenal have got a better side. So what what what, what I wouldn't want for Arsenal, Ali, is that and it could easily happen. You know, they've lost the last two games. If they go and lose against Wolves, and you're like, "Whoa, we've no, done, if we've if done they it lose again." To Wolves, I think that's it. Yeah, but they could be like, "We've done it again." But they, they can't lose. They've got. To, they've got. Yeah. He's got to fire them up, definitely. Uh, right. What about last night? Sports bar. The chunk believes uh, it was Jamie and Jason Cundy were back in the sports bar taking your calls. The chunk believe Arsenal. Well, they let the fans down. Saka was poor tonight. Martinelli poor. I, yeah, Declan yeah, Rice I, not great. Jorginho average. Tommy Asu was having a torrid time against Sane. They buckled under the pressure. Simple as that, Arsenal yeah. fans. Let's just call it how it is. No, Arsenal right. weren't good enough tonight. No. They, they let the fans down. They weren't good enough. Big players on big money, big contracts, didn't turn up in a big moment. Simple as that. Um, mm. Do you agree with Jamie there? Uh, what about City as well? Um, City, do they overplay? Do they overpass? Or is that just their style? You know, they, they pass teams to sleep, don't they? But... Real Madrid defended, defended. They had a bit of luck, but they defended. There's no doubt about it. Keeper made some good saves. Yes. There was chances missed, but as I said, uh, Real Madrid had a chance as well. Um, so it was it was just one of them nights, wasn't it? What about the Man City manager? Uh, this was Bernardo Silva. I, I, I went to bed, so I missed the, the penalties. I will look at them now. But his spot kick cost Pep after the match. The City manager defended the midfielder. Bernardo asked for the first, I want to take it, I want to take it. He's a reliable player and decided to, to shoot in that way. But absolutely, Bernardo was again, what a game he played. So, no, it happened. The ball go out and yeah, it's where it is. Mm, there you go, straight down the middle, I'm told. Yeah, he, um, it was one of them penalties out that like, if the keeper dives, it's one of them that you say, wow, that was class. He put yeah. it down the middle with a bit of height on it. Keeper stood still, caught it. So it was um, one of them embarrassing I In a game like that, I wouldn't put it down the middle. I'd rather go for that inside the post or smash it. Yeah, yeah. I think Kovacic missed one. Um, Modric's penalty was poor as well. There's, there's a few poor penalties, but I just think City get the job done. Even though you've got extra mm. time, 30 minutes. Get find it done. Find at Wembley as well. Exactly. Find, find a way to win the game. But <clears throat> I feel like Jamie's comments there, I do think Arsenal were poor, but you have to think of where they've come from, Al. You know, they're new to this this squad of players. Apart from Havertz and Jorginho, who have won it um, already, the other players are new to it. They'll learn from this Arsenal. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, what about up at Dens Park as well last night? I'm not forgetting that one. Dundee now, Rangers now. Struggling, aren't they, Rangers? Whoa. I was watching a bit of the, um, was it Ross oh, County? Dear. Ross yeah. County game. I was watching a bit, I'm like... How come Rangers are losing when they I put don't, it on? I can't believe it. You know, Rangers mm. against Celtic, was Rangers were pants for 45 minutes. Mm. Then played well second half, got back in it. And then against Ross County, and then against Dundee. I didn't expect either. And if they if they beat Celtic, they need the goal difference is better oh. for Celtic. Uh, well, look, we'll see what happens, yeah. you know, because... Uh, but they've, they've blown it, in, in my opinion. Arsenal right. fans want to hear from you this morning. Did the players let you down again? Did Arteta get it wrong? Is, are you blaming Arteta? Give us a call. 0371722344. And give them a bit, a bit of a rollicking, but he has to pick them up for this Wolves game. And I think Arsenal play first, don't they? Yes. Because Chelsea play in the cup. Uh, sorry, City play in the cup. And um, Liverpool play the day after, so it's a chance for Wolves. Uh, game, if mate. they beat Wolves, game, they go to top again. Mm. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.